Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Drea. And today, to continue on the Natural Hair Basics series, I wanted to talk about finger detangling because this was a major cornerstone to my natural hair routine. Um, and it's been that way since I went natural up until now, I still finger detangle. So I know a lot of people probably either haven't heard about finger detangling or maybe have heard of it but never tried to implement it. But I think it can be really important and really helpful on your natural hair journey. So I just want to walk y'all through how I do it and why I finger detangle. finger detangling when I started transitioning because as my hair got longer I realized that when I was getting it wet that line of demarcation between the straight hair and the curly hair it would be so tangled y'all so I started to look up different ways to detangle your hair and everything and I came across some videos about finger detangling and I really realized that when you sometimes when you go to comb through your hair you'll realize it's like really hard to get through it and i didn't want to start a habit of like snatching through my hair out of frustration so finger detangling really helped me to slow down and feel for the major tangles and try to work those out and the thing about finger detangling is you don't have to simply just finger detangle you can use it as a tool to help you get through major knots and then go back through it with the comb just so you are taking your time and not snatching out a lot of hair because I've seen some people say oh I use, I lose so much hair when I detangle some of that comes from literally snatching out your hair out of frustration now we'll say some downsides to finger detangling one is time consuming I will say Sometimes if my hair is super, super tangled, it could take me upwards of 20, 30 minutes just to detangle. Um, so that's one thing. You, It takes a lot of patience because it takes a lot of time, number two. And then number three, some people feel like they're not getting out all the shed hair when they finger detangle. But a way to circumvent that, like I said earlier, is use the finger detangling as a tool to really just take your time and work out major tangles then you can follow up with um, a comb, a wide tooth, comb, wide tooth comb. Can I get it out? Or whatever type of tool you like to use to detangle your hair. So with that being said, I wanted to walk y'all through my finger detangling routine. And then the video I'm about to show you is actually um, a good one because my hair was very tangled in this video because I had just got through wearing. A couple of buns and updo styles and when I do that my hair tends to get super super tangled so yeah I'm gonna walk y'all through my process so I always start out by separating my hair into four sections and then from there I start to break it down section by section so in your finger detangling process I will say that water and conditioner are your best friend do not skimp on either one of those especially the conditioner because that's really gonna help give you that slip that you need to really get through your hair if you're not using enough water you're not using enough conditioner you're defeating the purpose because you're going to be tugging against your hair which is what you're trying to prevent by finger detangling with the conditioner I just start out with trying to work it through the section get it super saturated I'll separate the hair go between the sections because I really want to make sure the whole section is saturated with conditioner really well conditioner and water like I said your best friends so then after I break down the bigger section I go in with my pterodactyl hands and um, I just start trying to feel for major tangles and then I'll start separating my hair strands where I feel those tangles The thing about this is you don't want to snatch through your hair. You want to feel for the tangles and kind of work them down your strands until you get to the end. And then as I start to feel like I'm getting out the major tangles by separating, I start to try to rake through my hair um, to really make sure that I'm getting the tangles out. And once I can fully get my fingers through my hair, then I move on to the next section. So right here, we're going to slow it down. As you can see, I am still using my little pterodactyl fingers, but I just wanted to show y'all that I'm not immediately raking through my hair. I'm really just kind of using the pads of my fingers to feel for where tangles might be. And then I go ahead and start to go into 
the section by separating and as you can see I'm not just snatching through I am working my tangles down the section um, down the hair strand so I'm not just ripping it apart and then I'm periodically raking through to make sure that I'm getting those major tangles out of each smaller section and see you can feel for big snags like if I had a comb I probably would have just been snatching through that but um, this way I can work out the tangles and take my time it's really just about taking your time um, allowing yourself to feel for the tangles and then raking through See, now that I've gotten most of the major tangles, it's quite easy for me to start trying to rake through my hair. And then at the same time, I can feel for where I'm still getting a couple snags. And I can go in and try to uh, get smaller sections to get those little tangles that are still left out of that section. And this is where a comb could come, into, come in handy for you. Um, if you are the type of person that likes to use tools to really make sure you're getting out all the hair. You can definitely go in at this point since you've got out most of the tangles. A comb would go through fairly easily at this point, especially with all the conditioner you have in. So this would be a great time to use a comb. I might do a video later on the difference between using a comb before versus after you finger detangle. That would actually probably be a good video. And look at those big tangles that I'm able to work out. So... That's why I love it. And then I just wanted to show y'all. I was going, I was moving on to my deep conditioner at this point, and I've completely finger detangled, washed out all the conditioner. Look how easily my fingers are going through my hair with that deep conditioner. Like butter, baby. Now, where you want to try finger detangling is up to you. Some people like to do it before they even wash. They like to get oil or some other type of product and go through their hair and finger detangle before they wash just so they could try to prevent some major tangling before the wash. I used to do that a little bit when I was transitioning because let me tell you, like I said, it's very easy for your hair to get super tangled in those lines of demarcation. Now, currently, I will go ahead and wash my hair first and then finger detangle after that but sometimes that does take a long time if my hair was in a bun or something before that um so i will say that if your hair has been in some type of protective style sometimes it is very beneficial to finger detangle before you even go wash that way after you finish washing it just makes the detangling process so much easier so much faster so yeah y'all that's my video on finger detangling um i just wanted to put that out there as something that i still use and did use when I first went natural to help with tangling and to prevent me from losing a lot of hair um, when I was combing my hair out um, and detangling especially in the transitioning process so if you've ever detangled I would love to hear how you feel about it do you still do it did you not like it do you prefer combs and if not if you have never finger detangled would you be interested in trying it it's not that bad y'all and if you do try it I would love to hear your thoughts down below Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.